CataractCoach.com, a very young patient with a white cataract. Now, what's different when you're sure there's no nucleosclerosis? Look at the case very carefully. Look at that picture here. This is before tripen blue dye, and it still looks bluish. The cataract is so white that it looks bluish. And why? Because there's no nucleosclerosis. I can tell you here, look at those eyelashes, very young patient. So a little bit of tripen blue dye going inside the eye here, and then we'll wash that out. And then now the capsule look really blue, obviously, but... You can tell there's no nucleus cross because there's no yellowness at all. So prior to putting the blue dye in, the lens nucleus was so white, it was whitish-bluish without tripan. And so this means that when you puncture this, it's going to be intumescent for sure. And there's going to be no nucleus sclerosis. You don't need a phacal probe in this eye. You just need the eye probe. Now let's see the main incision going in here. So fixating the eye with a Q-tip and then now or cotton swab. I like that you pull the incision back a little bit. And let's see, that looks reasonable. And what are we gonna do to decompress this? What are we gonna do, okay, needle decompression. I like to first touch the anterior lens capsule with the cannula before using the needle, just to make sure it's not overly hydrated or overly pressurized. Now, good needle decompression, that looks pretty reasonable. Must be a very small opening. And now let's see, you're gonna go to forceps perhaps? All right, I'll wipe up there. Here, here I don't like to waste any time, I like to get right to it. Okay, forceps going inside the eye here. Come on, come on, because the longer you wait, the longer that, the higher that risk of Argentinian flag sign is. All right, you grab grabbing the caps. Looks good, looks good. Now here you could just do a baby rexus and then fully decompress everything, put the eye probe in that hole. Or if you think you got enough control, you can just continue and get your normal rexus done here. But in these cases, because there is no nuclear sclerosis, again, you put the eye probe in the eye, it's just gone. In fact, you can just use BSS on a cannula and basically wash out all the lens material or most of it. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, yeah, right to the eye probe, exactly. And look, it's just vacuum it down. And look at that, it is gone, absolutely gone. Now, why did the patient get a cataract? Sometimes it's from trauma, sometimes it's just bad luck. And we've seen these patients in our clinic who are young, in their 20s or even 30s, and have bilateral white cataracts that came on very suddenly. A little bit of iris prolapse, so be very careful. That's a good idea. There's the viscoelastic. Good job, good job. Hey, as we're waiting for the lens to be loaded, let me tell you about Retina Rounds, our sister channel. So much great material. I really got to encourage you to check it out. If you're not looking at it, I promise you're doing yourself a disservice. 100% of the patients you do cataract surgery on have retinas. And you need to know something about the retina. So please heed the advice. Check it out. Now, let's see what's going on here with the lens. And so sometimes it's helpful, even in this case, when you've got the eye aphakic, you don't have a lens in the eye yet, you can actually take a look back there. This patient may not have had a view of the retina for quite a while. And so then we'll get the lens inside here. And again, that's another question. What kind of lens do you put in a young person like this? Well, if you had good biometry, you can kind of put any lens you want. Let's see what's going in here. Monofocal lens. If you are going to put a monofocal lens, and let's say this person's 30 years old, what would you choose your refractive target? Let's say for whatever reason you can't do any other type of lenses. No EDOF, no multifocal, trifocal. you got to put a monofocal lens. Okay, what would you choose? A patient's 30 years old and does everything normal that a 30-year-old would do. You know what? Maybe being around minus one wouldn't be a bad thing. Then you can do kind of most things pretty well without glasses. And then if you needed to have glasses on to optimize your vision, yeah, you put on some sort of bifocals. You'd have, you know, the minus one for distance and maybe plus one for near on top of the, the existing refraction. So I think maybe minus one may be a reasonable option. You could hit the absolute plano mark for the patient, give them emetropia, but then really doing them a disservice for anything that's kind of within arm's reach. So again, it's an important discussion to have with the patient. And again, if you have a patient like this who's young, look carefully. There's a video on Cataract Coach called Differentiating White Cataracts. If you're not sure, go to cataractcoach.com and look up Differentiating White Cataracts. I teach all the secrets of how to figure out ahead of time. Is it going to be soft and fluffy like this? Is it going to have nuclear density? Is it going to be high risk of, of, of capsule split? I teach it all, and it's all there. And guess what? It's all for free. All right, leave your comments below if you have any helpful advice for cases like this. And remember, check out retinarounds.com or center channel. And of course, gatteratcoach.com, your very favorite.